this is our C boss. Today we are gonna talk about the first victory of the Republic of China, also known as Nationalist China, in the Second Sino Japanese War, the Battle of Tai Er Zhuang. Japan began its long undeclared war with China by invading Manchuria on September 18, 1931. The rise of Adolf Hitler to power in 1933 and the spread of fascism in Europe encouraged Japan to expand its influence into the Asian mainland. A full-scale confrontation between the Empire of Japan and the Republic of China (ROC) became inevitable. China's national government under Generalissimo Chiang Kai-shek wished to avoid a full-scale confrontation with Japan. Generalissimo refused to declare war on Japan even after a full-scale battle began to take place in northern China. He knew that China was not ready for modern warfare against Imperial Japan. A declaration of war on Japan would prohibit China from purchasing foreign weapons since most Western powers at the time remained neutral. Japan had defeated the Qing China, the Russian Empire, and even the German Empire on the battlefield since the Mingzi Restoration. Chiang Kai-shek knew it fully well that Japan had the most advanced and professional military in Asia. He was a graduate of Tokyo Shinbu Gakkao, a preparatory school for the Imperial Japanese Army Academy. The Imperial Japanese Army, IJA, seemed undefeatable whoever it faced on the battlefield. China, in contrast, was never a unified nation since the collapse of the Qing dynasty. Without a stable central government, China became a nation divided by different military cliques, also known as warlords. Even after the establishment of the national government in 1928, the country's unification was only in name. China's military was still divided and under control of various provincial strongmen. Only one third of China's National Revolutionary Army, NRA, was loyal to Qing. Chiang Kai-shek believed that it was best for China to begin the resistance with at least the training of his 60 German-trained modern divisions is completed. With the help of Alexander Wong von Hudson, Chiang's German advisor, only 30 divisions has completed their training before the outbreak of war, without even receiving all the equipment they needed. This means Chiang Kai-shek had to rely on local forces to carry out his resistance against the IJA. The Central Plains War take place in 1930 had deteriorated not only the relationship between the central government and provincial strongmen, but also deteriorated relationships among the strongmen themselves. Chiang Kai-shek must sacrifice his central army to unify all those provincial leaders to expel the Japanese invaders. It is the reason why Chiang sent his best troops to defend Shanghai and Nanjing from August to December of 1937 and had them nearly annihilated. Generalissimo successfully set himself up a role model for the local force to follow after sacrificing his best troops on the battlefield. Driven by patriotism, those local strongmen once hostile to Chiang Kai-shek began to take prominent positions within the central government. Li Zongren, a sworn enemy of Chiang during the Central Plain War, was appointed commander of the 5th War Area in September of 1938. The Battle of Tai Er Zhuang is the first part of the Xuzhou Campaign. The Fifth War area stretched from the south of the Yellow River to the north of the Yangtze River and the coast of the Yellow Sea. It covered the entire Shandong province and the northern part of Jiangsu and Anhui province. Xuzhou, the headquarter of the Fifth War area, was the junction of Jiangsu, Shandong, Henan, Anhui province, as well as where Tianjin Hukou Railway and Jiangsu Gansu Railway met. After taking over Nanjing, the capital of ROC, on December 13, 1937, the IJA launched a massacre against Chinese soldiers and civilians indiscriminately to break the Chinese will to resist. The killing successfully weakened the will of many local strongmen, such as Han Fuqiu, the deputy commander of the Fifth War area, to fight. Han Fuqiu rejected Li Zongren's order to defend Jinan, the provincial capital on Shandong, and allowed the Japanese 10th Division to move south without facing any resistance. Various vital strategic points along the northern part of Tianjin Hukou Railway, including Zhoushan and Haiyan, were captured by the IJA 10th Division and left Xuzhou almost undefended to any attack from the north. To prevent NRA from submission to further IJA attack, Chiang Kai-shek ordered the arrest of Han Fuqiu on January 11th of 1938. During a military conference held in Kaifeng, Han Fuqiu was executed for treason 13 days later. 
Such order ensured the unification of the provincial leaders to fight under the leadership of Chiang Kai-shek. Facing a common enemy, Li Zongren decided to let go his hatred against Chiang temporarily, commit to the defense of the Chinese motherland. Meanwhile, the IJA 13th Division moved north along Tianjin Fukou Railway from Nanjing toward Xuzhou. By joining up with the IJA 10th Division at Xuzhou, the Japanese would be able to link up occupied regions of China from north to the south. In the same time, the IJA 5th Division, which had been invincible in the battlefield of Sanxi landed at Qingdao and joined the attack against Xuzhou. The IJA planned to wipe out the entire NRA 5th War area by taking over Xuzhou with three of its best divisions. However, Li Zongren's best troop, the NRA 11th Army Group under General Li Pingjian, was able to tie down the IJA 13th Division at the south of Tianjin Pukou Railway with the assistance of 59th Corps and 21 Army Group. Li Pingxian and Liao Lei, the commander of NRA 21's army group, belonged to Li Zongren's Guangxi army. Zhang Zizong, the commander of 59th Corps, was a loyalist to Feng Yuxiang, the famous Christian general of the Northwest Army. Guangxi Army and Northwest Army together prevented the IJA 13th Division from moving north, which allowed Li Zongren in Xuzhou to face only two Japanese divisions. It laid down a good foundation for the Chinese victory at Taizhong. While Li Zongren's own Guangxi troops remained in the south of Tianjin Fukou Railway to engage the IJA 13th Division, he relied heavily on the Northwest Army to defend the North. Even though they were good at fighting a defensive war, they were not good enough to compete with the two IJA divisions. Fortunately, the 22nd Army Group from Sichuan Province was on its way to northern China. However, the 22 Army Group disliked by the Chinese generals in the North due to its lack of discipline. Ai Tongxi, a member of Li Zongren's Guangxi clique, who was invited by Chiang Kai-shek to become the deputy chief of the general staff, then asked General Li if he wanted the 22 Army Group. General Li replied that the 22 Army Group would be better than nothing. Soon, General Sun Zhen, the commander of the NRA 22 Army Group, received the order to move his force to Teng County of the Shandong province to protect the north. The first phase of the battle is the defense of Teng County. As the IJA moved closer to Jizhou, Taiyuan, a village located in the north of the Grand Canal, became more critical to the protection of Fifth War area. It was right up in the north of Xuzhou, blocking the move of General in Sogai Ren Teiskan, IJA 10th Division of the South. The 22 Army Group from China's southwestern province of Sichuan moved into Teng County, located at northwest of Taiyuan, to slow down the advance of the IJA 10th Division. Consisted of the 41st Corps and the 55th Corps, the 22 Army Group was ordered by Li Zongren to attack north together with General Sun Tongxuan. Third Army Group on February 12th of 1938, the 22 Army Group attacked Zhou Xian, while Sun Tongxuan's Northwest Army Group attacked Jining. Suffering substantial loss, General Sun Zhen pulled his 22 Army Group back to Tengus County on March 15th. Sun Zhen had his Army Group nearly wiped out by the Japanese during this one month offense. However, both the 22 Army Group and the 3rd Army Group achieved their goal to help the Japanese attack for one month, with only the 122 Division of the 41th Corps still capable of fighting. Sun Zhen ordered Commander Wang Lingzhang of the Division to defend Teng County. Outside the city wall, the remnant of 45th Corps continued their attack against the rear of the Japanese offense. The defense of Teng County officially began on March 16th. General Isogai Renkenstan was arrogant enough to think that he did not need to send his entire division down to capture Taiyuan. Seiya Hiraku, the commander of 33 Brigade, was ordered to establish his Seiya detachment consistent of 10th 63 Infantry Regiment, 10th Artillery Regiment, 2nd Heavy Artillery Regiment, Ad Hoc Artillery Regiment, 10th Independent Machine Gun Battalion, 10th and 12th Independent Tanke Company to attack Chen County. By sending a detachment of just 13,000 men, General Isogai Renske did not expect a strong defense at Teng County and Taiyuan. He was surprised to find out that 122 Division formed up a stiff resistance in Teng County. Sayat Detachment launched 11 attacks against the east gate of Teng County, but all repelled it by Commander Wang and his men. With the support provided by artillery fire and Type 94 tankies, Sayat Detachment finally broke through the east gate on March 17th. 
Commander Wang Mingzhang continued his fight inside the city wall until the Japanese soldier shot him at the top of West Gate in the afternoon. Wang became the first and the only generals killed in the Battle of Taizong. From the attack of the Zhou Xian on February 12th to the fall of Teng County on March 18th, more than 10,000 officers and soldiers from Sichuan Army were killed or injured to delay Seiya detachments move to Taizong. The third pursuit group of the Republic of China Air Force, ROCAF, sent 10 Soviet-built I-15 biplanes to attack the Japanese position at Teng County. Under the leadership of the group commander Wu Lu Liu, I-15 engaged in aerial combat with the two Mitsubishi Ki-1 twin-engine heavy bombers from the Japanese Army Air Force's 6th Hiko Dai Tai. Zhu Jiaxun from the 7th Squadron shot down one of the Ki-1s, while the rest of the group destroyed the other one. Meanwhile, the pilots of the ROCAF spotted a Kawasaki Type 88 reconnaissance aircraft from the JAAF first light bomber Daitai. The, the ROCAF I-15 then attacked the reconnaissance aircraft, killed the observer, and forced it to land on the no man land. Despite the loss of Tan County to the Saya detachment, the courageous pilot of the ROCAF won the victory of the first air battle of Guide by shooting down three Japanese aircraft in one single day. The second phase of the battle is the defense of Ling Yi, while Saya detachment launched its attack against Tan County. General Itaga Shise Shiro's IJA 5th Division also moved south to Ling Yi, located at the northern east of Taiyuan through Taiwei County Highway. Itage was even arrogant enough to think that 5th Division would occupy Ling Yi without resistance and to move further to take Taiyuan together with the IJA 10th Division. Like Isoga Renske, he was surprised to meet the strong resistance of General Huang Bingxun's 3rd Army at Ling Yi. However, only the 39th Division of General Huang Bingxun's 40th Corps was capable of defending the city, and this was undoubtedly not enough force to fight the invincible IJA 5th Division. Still, General Li Zongren ordered Huang Bingxun to attack the Japanese position along Taiwei County Highway. The NRA 39th Division soon engaged the IJA 5th Division near Ju. General Pang pulled his troop back into Ling Yi because the 39th Division was unable to resist the bombs dropped by the JAF's Ki-1 twin injury bombers. On March 12th of the 1938, Zhang Zizong, the commander of the 59th Corps, was ordered to move north to support General Pang. As we mentioned earlier, the Central Plain War was not only deteriorated the relationship between the central government and the local strongmen, but the relationship among local strongmen themselves as well. Even though Zhang Zizong and Pang Bingxun were both from Feng Yuxiang's Northwest Army, they became enemies in the 1930s when the latter decided to defect to Chiang Kai-shek central government, while the former remained his loyalty to Feng. To prove his loyalty to the new leader, General Pang Bingxun even attacked General Zhang Zizong's force during the Central Plain War. Even Li Zongren was uncertain whether Zhang Zizong would help Pang Bingxun or not. General Zhang Zizong put the word of resistance above his vendetta against Pang Bingxun. He led the 59th Corps across Yi River to harass the Japanese force with their big stories while the 40th Corps held Lin Yi. Both corps fought until March 18th when the Japanese offense collapsed. General Itaga Skeshiro had to withdraw his unit from the Lin Yi due to high casualties suffered by the IJA 5th Division. About 3,000 Japanese soldiers were killed or wounded during the defense of Ling Yi. The NRA 44 and 594 all together sacrificed 5,000 men as a price to delay the movement of the IJA 5th Division to Taiyuan. Both Sichuan Army and Northwest fought bravely for their nation and brought enough time for Li to prepare for the final engagement to take place at Taiyuan against the CR detachment. Another good start for China's ultimate victory. General Li Zongren deployed General Sun Lianzong's 2nd Army Group and Tang Enbo's 20th Army Group to defend Taiyuan. Sun Lianzong's Northwest Army was tasked with the mission to protect Taiyuan, while Tang Enbo's Central Army moved north to the rear of the Xia detachment to take up flanking maneuver. Under the order of General Sun, the 31th Division of the 30th Corps, led by General Si Fengchen, arrived at Taiyuan on March 19th. In west of Taiyuan, there was Huang Chaosong's 27th Division of the 42 Corps. 
Wu Hongqi's 44th Brigade and Zhang Jinzhao's 30th Division were deployed to the south of the village. Li Zongren ordered the 31st Division to protect Taizhong because he knew the Northwest Army was best in fighting a defensive war. Under the request of General Tang Anbuo, General Shi Fengchen initiated the defense on the 23rd against Yi County, where the Sayah detachment had just taken. A battle took place of the 31th Division and the leading force of the Siyah Detachment at Kang Village in the south of Yi County. Unable to penetrate the defense line set up by the IJA 10th and 63 Infantry Regiments, the 31th Division retreated to Taiyuan. On March 24th, Siyah Detachment began the attack against Taiyuan with the support of artillery fire provided from Liu Jiabu Village. The destruction of the North Gate allowed 200 Japanese infantry to move into the village. The 31th Division annihilated those 200 Japanese soldiers with its numerical superiority. On 25th, the 185th Regiment and the 31th Division was ordered once again to move north of Taiyuan to harass enemy position. Gao Hongli, the commander of the 3rd Battalion, launched a surprise attack against the Japanese artillery position at Liu Jiabu village. With the big swords, however, they were forced to retreat due to their inability against Japanese Type 94 tankies. 300 Japanese soldiers ran into Taiyuan to fight hand-to-hand -hand combat with the NRA 186 Regiment. Unable to penetrate the Chinese positions, all Japanese soldiers were driven into the city guard temple at the northeast of the village and burned to death. Above the sky, the ROCAF I-15 again arrived at Taiyuan to bomb the Japanese position outside the village. The Chinese I-15 were attacked by 18 JAF aircraft on their way back to Guido. In addition to Kawasaki K-110 biplanes, Nakajima Ki-27, known as Nate, was also spot during this area engagement, known as the Second Air Battle of Guido. The event was the first time the JAF to deploy low-wing monoplanes into combat. Unable to fend off the Ki-27, 6 I-15 from the 3rd Pursuit Group of the Republic of China Air Force was shut down in the combat. Back to the ground engagement, the Japanese again penetrated Taiyuan on the 26th. Although the NRA drove the Japanese into the city uh, temple again, the NRA was no longer able to burn the temple as they did on the 25th. The 184 regiment under the command of Wang Zhen then led his men into another hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Japanese soldiers in the village. With the city gold temple as its forward base, the Japanese were able to capture more buildings inside the village. Eventually, nearly all buildings within Taiyuan were destroyed when the Chinese and Japanese fought so desperately to control them. On March 27th, an independent tank company consisted of five Type 89 medium tanks and seven Type 94 tankies of the Japanese China Garrison Army has just arrived at the Selling Sandong from Hebei province together with Seiya's 10th independent tanky companies, Type 94s. They launched a new offense against the Chinese in Taiyuan. More famously known as the Bing sized tank, the lightweight Type 94 was in fact considered more of an armored vehicle than even a special tractor by the IJA. It was so small and light with thin armor that can be penetrated by 50 caliber machine gun fire at 600 yards. The Type 94 seemed to be unstoppable because the NRA only had three tank battalions against them. In the same time, none of those Central Army tanks unit were deployed to Taiwan. Without sufficient anti-tank weapons, the only way for the Chinese soldier of NRA 31 Division to defeat Type 94 was to launch a suicide attack. They strapped grenade packs or dynamite on their bodies and threw themselves under the Type 94 to blow them up. However, this tactic would not work when the IJA sent down the real Type 89 tanks under the order of General Bai Songqi. The 52 artillery regiment of the Central Army rushed to Taiyuan. Equipped with the German-made 3.7cm Pak 36 anti-tank, the UNRA 52 artillery regiment successfully destroyed 5 Type 94s and 3 Type 89s outside the village. Wang Zhen, the commander of the UNRA 31th Division, 184th Regiment, used this opportunity to launch an attack against the Japanese soldiers inside Taiyuan. As more Japanese soldiers penetrated the village, Wang Zhen himself was wounded during the fierce battle. 
Huang Zheng was relieved from his command and replaced by Huang Guanwu. On March 29th, Commander Huang Guanwu launched another attack to commemorate the Second Guangzhou Uprising, taking place in 1911. During his failed uprising against the Qing army, 72 revolutionaries lost their lives. Huang Guanwu organized a 72 men dare to die corps to launch another suicide attack against the Japanese army occupying Wenchang Gallery inside Taizong's northwest. For the time, not all 72 Dare to Die Corps became martyrs. Only 14 of them were killed for Wang Guangwu and his men to take Wenchang Gallery back from the Japanese hands. Meanwhile, the NRA 27th Division, 30th Division, and 44th Brigade began their counterattack against the Seattle Detachment outside the village. The Japanese position were also wounded by the NRA 60th Army, which had just arrived from Yunnan province. However, all local forces in Taizong together were unable to defeat the well-trained IJA-10 and 63 infantry regiments. Despite their numerical superiority, General Itaka Shiro of the IJA 5th Division in the same time sent down Sakamoto Detachment mainly consisting of the 21 Brigade led by General Sakamoto Jun down to the Taizong from Li to hold Xia Detachment's line. Without the participation of Tang Bo's 20th Army, the Chinese counter-offense would crumble. 70% of General Sun Lianzong's 2nd Army Group had been wiped out, but General Li Zhongren ordered him to hold the line to demonstrate his will to defend Taiyuan Zhuang. Shi Fengcheng even blew out the bridge outside the South Gate for the 31th Division to cross the Grand Canal for a straw to Xuzhou. On April 1st, the Sakamoto Detachment arrived on the outskirts of Taiyuan Zhuang for a final offense against the Chinese in the village simultaneously with the Xia Detachment. Unable to force the 31th Division into submission, poison gas was once used against the Chinese position in Taizong. Their sacrifice was not in vain. The NRA 20th Army finally launched another Chinese counterattack from the north of Taizong. Such a surprise attack inflicted heavy losses on General Sakamoto's detachment and forced him to pull his troop out of the battle. After knocking down Sakamoto's detachment, General Tang Bo turned his attention to Xia detachment. The NRA 52 Corps and 85 Corps of General Tang Bo's 20th Army moved direct toward Yi County, while the 31th, 30th, 27th Divisions, as well as 44th Brigade, launched another counterattack in Taiyuan with the support of 75th Corps and 13th Corps, which had just reached the front line. On the April 4th, the 52 Corps retook Ganlu Temple, Yangrou. Taogun. A pitched battle was also taking place at Da Gu San between the NRA 85 Corps and the Seiya Detachment. Commander Liu Fanghui of the 85 Corps 529 Regiment was killed in the Battle of Da Gu San. Despite the loss of Commander Liu Fanghui, the 85 Corps still drove the Japanese out of Da Gu San and moved to Taogun to join forces with the 52 Corps to prevent his troops from being annihilated at Taiyuan. General Insoga Renske ordered the detachment to pull out from Yi County on April 6 with the Central Army and local forces together. The NRA won its first victory against IJA. China won its first victory against Imperial Japan since the first Sino-Japanese War. Unfortunately, such a victory did not prevent the IJA from taking over Shenzhou. Eventually, Chiang Kai-shek was not naive enough to think he would drive the Japanese out of his country with a single battle. General Lissimo realized that the only way for China to win the war is to carry out his trading space for time strategy. China cannot win single-handedly against Japan, but China must not fall until Soviet Union, United Kingdom, or United States, or other great powers are dragged into the war of resistance. As for the Battle of Taiyuan, its primary purpose was not to protect Xuzhou, but to delay the Japanese attack against Xuzhou. The entire Xuzhou campaign also served only one goal, which was to delay the Japanese advance towards Wuhan. Similar meaning can be applied to Wuhan campaign. It was launched to slow down the Japanese movement for the central government to move China's wartime capital further south to Chongqing. It was not for China to win, but for China to not lose by successfully carrying out Chang's trading space for time strategy. The IJA would be dragged into the massive battlefield of China in a war that seemingly cannot be ended swiftly. The Battle of Taiyuan was the first victory of China achieved on the battlefield since Marco Polo Bridge incident, and it has boosted the Chinese morale greatly for the Chinese military and civilians alike to support the long and costly war against Japan.
Do you like our content and want to know more about the battles and histories of the Republic of China? Please do comment below and remember to subscribe to our channel. We will add donation or Patreon links in the future, so if you like our content, you are very welcome to support us.